Hello, in this video we're going to prove that there are infinitely many points on the unit circle that the distance between each two of them is a rational number. Okay, so let's start with uh, figuring out how to find Pythagorean triples. So Pythagorean triples are integers that are sides of right triangles. So for example, 3, 4, 5 is one of the Pythagorean triples and you can then rescale this. But here we are really interested in rational sites. So I have a video on uh, uh, finding these Pythagorean triples and I'm going to post the link in the description of this video. All of the Pythagorean triples that are primitive are going to be m squared minus n squared, 2mn and m squared plus n squared, where m and n are two integers. There's also some conditions on m and n, but that really doesn't matter for our purpose. Now, looking at the unit circle, we are looking for points that have distances of rational. So one way of relating that would be to think about fix two of the points, maybe on the uh, opposite sides of the circle, and then look at these types of triangles. The hypotenuse is two, and we want both sides to be also rational. So in order for the hypotenuse to be 2, we'll multiply everything by 2 and divide by m squared minus n squared. We will get m squared plus n squared. We will get this 4mn over m squared plus n squared, and then the hypotenuse becomes 2. And if we divide the numerator and denominator by n squared, we get 2t squared minus 1 divided by t squared plus 1. 2t, I'm dividing uh, numerator and denominator by n squared, t squared plus 1, and 2. So if I take a rational number t, then I will get a right triangle. And of course we can change t and we will get infinitely many right triangles with hypotenuse 2 and rational sides. But how do we fit them in the unit circle? Well, we can just put all of the hypotenuse, every hypotenuse, on the uh, diagonal of this circle, or diameter of this circle. Uh, now the question that we have to ask ourselves is if I do that, so I'm going to do two of the vertices at the opposite sides of the circle, um, then the third vertex would be right here. So this length is rational, this length is rational, and then I have another point right here, and I know these are also rational. There is one segment that I don't know if it is rational or not. So I have to figure out if AB is also rational. So there is this theorem that you might be familiar with called Ptolemy's theorem, which is what I'm going to use in order to in fact show that the last side must be rational. So if you look at Ptolemy's theorem, Ptolemy's theorem tells you if you have a quaternion that is cyclic, sum of product of opposite sides is equal to product of diagonals. Now, we know that um, AB a, and PQ, we know that PQ is rational, we know BP is rational, we know AQ is rational, we know AP and BQ are all rational. Therefore, this would have to also be rational. So if I take these points, uh, triangles with these sides, and put them around the circle, then all of the distances are going to be rational. So this is one way of getting to the answer. Another way of thinking about this would be to see how we can find segments on the unit circle. So if I have a unit circle and I have two points on the unit circle, what's the length of this chord? The length of the chord can be found using this angle. If this angle is alpha, we can drop a perpendicular from the center and this would be the midpoint. AM becomes sine of alpha over 2. So AB becomes twice sine of alpha over 2. If I look at a bunch of points on the unit circle and I measure all the, so let's fix one of these points P, and I measure all the angles from that point P. So I have um, a point alpha, a point A, and let's say this angle is alpha, and a point B, and this angle is beta. 
in order for a b to be rational we need let's say I measure all of the angles from um, OP so I, I'll call this one beta what I need for a b to be rational is sine of alpha minus beta or rather beta minus alpha in this diagram over 2 to be rational so in order for that to be rational if you expand this you would get sine of beta over 2 cosine of alpha over 2 minus cosine of beta over 2 sine of uh, alpha over 2 now I know that so, cosine of uh, sine of uh, beta over 2 and uh, sine of uh, alpha over 2 are rational we chose them this way because we want to make sure that PA and PB are rational if we also make sure that the cosines are rational then we are done so we're going to choose the angles in a way that cosine of each one of these angles alpha over 2 and sine of these angles alpha over 2 follow those formulas so we'll choose rational numbers and we choose these to be t minus 1 over t squared, t squared minus 1 over t squared plus 1, and 2t over t squared plus 1. So we're going to choose infinitely many angles that satisfy these. We put them on the unit circle, and by what we just showed, the distance between all of them is going to be rational. This is another way of thinking about it. But really, the main idea for both of them is the Pythagorean triple which can be obtained either directly using Pythagorean triples or there are also other ways of getting uh, triples uh, rational triples that uh, their scores is one and that brings me to the end of this video so I will see you in the next video